I really want the students to feel actively participating in uh, lectures, and so the clickers definitely help. I try to space them um, every five to seven minutes that there's a clicker question. And I know from teaching this a uh, number of times now that some of the qu clicker questions, they will, pretty much all the students will get right and it'll be, and they'll be all happy and feel good. And then there are other ones that I ask on purpose because I know that these are questions that the students can really hang up on on exams. They're tricky things. And so I want them to make the mistake when it doesn't count in the clicker question so they get it right on the exam. And so one thing that I will do, um, I'll often, try to get them to tell, if they got it right, explain why. So that's one thing I like to do. And um, I go around to different conferences and things and often will pick up free pens or you know free whatever rulers, all sorts of stuff that people give out. And so then I say, if someone, you know, and they see that they've gotten it right. So that makes them feel a little more confident before they speak in front of 350 people um, and said, okay, I have this awesome little, you know, periodic table ruler thing. Who can tell me what the answer is? And so then I have a TA go around with a microphone and that they say how, how they thought about the problem, what the answer is. Um, and so just kind of encourage people to talk. Ask people to explain, now that they know that the, what the right answer is, um, if someone will explain why that is the right answer. And I know it's a big class and people sometimes get nervous about talking, so I, I bribe people. So today, uh, the person who answers why that is correct will get an MIT chemistry t-shirt. All right, um, let's see. For every, f if you're using five moles of N2, you're gonna need 15 moles of uh, hydrogen gas. So since there's not enough hydrogen gas, there's only 10 moles, uh, that means the hydrogen gas should be the limiting reactant since you would need roughly 33.33 moles of N2 for it. Great, and here is an MIT chemistry t-shirt. Other times if the clicker question, you know, it's like 50-50 in the answer, then I won't tell them what's right and ask them to talk to their neighbor and, and vote again. Um, and sometimes I'll also, you know, have them, you know, talk to each other and then weigh in on something. Um, and whenever we're going to do like a, a demo, I also I want them to think about what might happen and, and what what uh, the possibilities are, things like that. And sometimes that'll be a clicker question ahead of time, and then they're really ready and engaged when they see the demo of what the answer is going to be. Um, so those are some of, of the things that I, I can do. Another one of um, the fun things that, that I like when I'm talking about the difference between thermodynamics and kinetics, we can talk about how you know, a, a reaction might be thermodynamically favorable. And so you know, combustion of sugar, thermodynamically favorable. So I'll bring in some candy and we're gonna, we do like a demo in class and everyone has a candy. It's like, okay, when you open it up to oxygen, there should be CO2 release. And so then we do the demo and, and see that, you know, it's actually a slow reaction. So <laughs> we don't see the gas release. Um, but, you know, ways where, you know, everyone in the class can have something that they do a demo with, even if it's a little bit silly, still there's that engagement then with the material.